What's up guys, uh, Marco here, and uh, today we're going to be doing the, uh, the Vertex by the Boss Mod International. So um, it's a rebuildable dripping atomizer, the tripole, uh, tripole config inside, and uh, we got it on dual coil setup right here. It's not going to be a very elaborate, extensive review, basically I'm just going to give you the need to know stuff. I'm not going to get into the details as to how tall it is and all, all that jazz, but uh, we're going to be talking about it for quite a bit, so I uh, hope you guys stick around. All right, so um, I've told you it is a tripole addy. It sits uh, flush on anything that's 22 millimeters in diameter, because that's uh, that's how it's measured, and um, it fastens down using Allen screws. Now I don't have uh, the the Allen wrench that it comes with, so what I use is this little nifty flat head right here. Not sure about the measurement, but uh, it goes right in there, and it's able to loosen and tighten this stuff up pretty good. Check it out. There. See. All right, we got it sitting on an axis mod, so that way we can show off the raw power of the atomizer. Now, um, it features adjustable airflow, and um, if you have a look at the cap, the whole thing is fastened down by O-rings, so if you take a look at it, there you go. It's a single fat O-ring um, on the base to fasten the whole cap down, and the airflow control works pretty much the same way. It fastens down using an O-ring, and uh, you can push it all the way out. Now, I haven't wiped it down all that much, but uh, it allows you to, um, to basically select the airflow based on a fully dilated air hole, which according to the manufacturer, it is at 1.5 by 7 millimeters in diameter when fully dilated. So um, here, here it is on a single config. If you take a look at it, there are two that face each other parallel. And there's one that has a single slit here and none on the other side. So it's pretty easy to align. All you got to do is just uh, face it in the direction that you want it to go in. And um, there you go. This is it in single. So you can see on the back, it's uh, fully closed out. If you wanted to go dual, then you just get the, uh, the two slots that are um, parallel to each other and uh, align it accordingly. Now, if you don't want it fully dilated, just, uh, just align it sort of like halfway down, down the middle there. And that's pretty much what it looks like there. So um, at 1.5 by 7 millimeters in diameter when fully opened, uh, it offers a pretty loose draw and it also makes for some pretty massive clouds coming out. So that's what I have, um, that's what I have done here. So it's, uh, right now I'm sporting a dual parallel build. So it's uh, two parallel coils using 0.35 millimeter um, cantho wire and uh, cotton. The, uh, the post holes where the, uh, the leads of your builds go in are measured at 1.5 millimeters. So you can easily build dual coils even if you're using um, thicker gauge cantle wire. Um, I've tried doing dual coils on 0.50 and 0.55 millimeter wire and it's a, it's a cinch to build. For anyone who's been watching my reviews, I always say I could not build dual coils for shit. I couldn't do it to save my life and my mother's. But um, with this, it's really, really easy. In fact, it looks, uh, you know, it vapes almost, you know, professionally, <laughs> if, 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 I, if I could say so myself. Um, the, uh, the poles are pretty fat, too, so I don't get, you know, heating problems or anything like that. I don't have to worry about the poles bending out of position or, you know, when I'm fastening it down, I don't have to worry about it twisting like that because the, the rubber insulator in the middle is, is sitting there really nice and tight. So what I like about it is that it has this really nifty juice well right here. And uh, you know, since I already have cotton installed, it's it's it soaks it up and it wicks really really well. Uh, surprisingly, uh, the the cool thing about it that I found was that um, despite the loose and airy draw, when I have two air holes fully dilated on a dual coil setup, I'm not losing that much flavor. Uh, I was surprised because uh, some other atomizers out there compromise the flavor for the vapor, but because of the I don't know if it has anything to do with the chamber of the top barrel. Um, you know how how it um, how it sits against the coils and all that, but it allows really really good airflow without compromising the uh, the flavor that you're getting out of it. Yeah. Check it out. So I have it. Uh, I don't know what the uh, the reading on it is. I'm guessing it's at about a 0.5 or 0.6 ohm build, and I'm firing it at uh, 3.57 volts right there. So. I'm going to give it a few draws and uh, show you how it vapes on a dual coil setup. Uh, I told you this isn't going to be a very detailed review. It's going to be more of a you know, quick rundown on how the atomizer performs, uh, ease of build and all that. Later on, I'll probably put out a video on how to build this thing, but I don't want to take my coil out because uh, I'm enjoying it pretty much. So we're using Overdose. Uh, it's a 60-40 VG dominant blend. We have it in 6 MG because 11 is just going to make me dizzy. And that's how it vapes. Let's turn it up a bit. 
All right, there you go. And we're gonna give it a few pulls and uh, see how it vapes. So those were lung inhales. I'm gonna try to get some um, normal standard pulls, you know, like if you were smoking an analog. But with air holes this big, you're gonna to wanna to go all the way down to your lungs because the, the draw is way too airy for it to, uh, to, to feel natural. If, uh, if you gotta build like that, you gotta ventilate it properly. And um, what I wanted to do is get a close approximation of how a cigarette would feel. Uh, that, that's normally how I, how I vape. But with an atomizer like this that's built for power and for show, I'm getting a really good amount of flavor out of it. So I'm, I'm really enjoying the, the loose, airy draw and the massive clouds that it can chuck. But um, I'm also a big fan of how the flavor is retained in, in the, the whole chamber of the atomizer. So um, giving it a few pulls um, based on how I normally would, you know, would vape on a, a regular atomizer. You're still getting uh, a fair amount of vapor out of it. I mean, for those of you who are into cloud chasing and things like that, this is definitely something you want to look into. Uh, it's made of 304 grade stainless steel, by the way. So it, it has that nice mirror finish to it. If you look at it up close, could you get the camera a bit closer? Yeah, there you go. See, it has that nice, um, you know, mirror finish to it. Uh, it has the Vertex uh, logo engraved on one side and a serial number on the other. So you can keep tabs on your atomizer, you know, if you sell it to someone or anything like that. But uh, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of the flavor retention. I was surprised, honestly, uh, when I got it. Uh, I was expecting that, you know, with, with holes that big, I was expecting the flavor to be, you know, to be significantly reduced. But I'm not getting that much of a reduction. I mean, it's not as flavorful as, say, an atomizer with smaller borings or things like that. But the cool thing about it is you can adjust the airflow to suit your taste. I mean, if you're a fan of tight draws, normal vaping, you can build it with a single coil very easily. You can have the airflow sitting right in front of your coil, and you're not losing that much flavor. Yeah, you're not losing any flavor at all, actually, because you can basically control the flow of the air inside. So if you're into flavor, then this atomizer works just fine. If you're in a chuck in clouds, definitely, as I've shown you, it can really deliver. Uh, the cool thing, uh, probably the coolest thing about it for me is the pricing on it. At uh, 2,500 pesos for the stainless steel version, I mean, that's a real steal. For a tripole addy that, um, that can chuck clouds that way, I mean, it's very easy to build. The poles are pretty unique. I mean, two of them are, are square, but they all fasten down with um, with Allen screws. I'm not sure of the, uh, the diameter, but when you get the package, it comes in a, in a ni nice gray pouch. It's pretty big. It's about roughly about this big. So it's like a pouch you get with you know cheap sunglasses and things like that. But th this one looks really neat. It's a, it's a matte gray finish. It comes with a bottle opener with a Boss Mod logo on it, you know, for, for all you drinkers out there, you know, it comes with a bottle opener and the Allen keys for it. I just use this because I can't seem to find my Allen key. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to give it one last pull and uh, show you what it can do when I turn the voltage up all the way up. Well, not all the way because it's going to fry my cotton, but uh, about as high as I could go, probably about 3.8 because otherwise it's going to get way too hot for me. I mean, even with the Navy Steel drip dip and all that. So, uh, give it a go. I like how the O-ring snaps down really tight without making it a real bitch to pull out. I mean, it snaps off pretty easy, but not too easy that it's going to come off if you have it in your vape bag or something like that. So, uh, one last pull, straight down to my lungs. 6MG uh, again, guys. There you go, that's the Vertex by the Boss Mod International. Uh, I don't, they have other variants of it. They have a gold-plated one, they have a Ferrari red edition, and one that's, uh, that's black. I'm not sure if it's anodized black or if it's uh, black Del Rin, but the pricing on it is different. I'm gonna get an update on that, and I'm gonna post it in the, uh, the description. But right now, uh, we're talking about the SS1, which goes for 2,500 Philippine pesos. Really good bang for buck if you're looking for something that can chuck clouds. It's a legit atomizer. And what I can say about the Boss Mod International team is that they have extremely good after-sales support. I mean, I send these guys a message at like 2 in the morning. They reply pretty quick. 
I, I'm starting to wonder if these people even sleep. But uh, yeah, I like that. After sales is a big deal, especially for rebuildables, because you know people lose their screws, people snap off their posts, or people fry their insulators. It's very easy to uh, to contact the boss people, and um, I really like that. That's a big plus for me. Uh, this actually was lent to me by a friend. Uh, I haven't really gone around to getting one for myself, but. Um, it, uh, it's something that I would definitely look into getting if, uh, if people are wondering if, would I be willing to buy one. Yes, I would be because uh, I don't really have an atomizer right now that can really chuck it. I mean, sometimes, you know, when doing these videos, people are after, hey, Mark, where are the clouds? I mean, uh, that isn't my thing anymore. I'm more of a flavor and throat hit guy. But every now and then, it's pretty fun to blow massive clouds, especially when you're, you know, when, when you're with, with your buddies and you're showing off and all that shit. But, you know, uh, it's, it's a fun atomizer to have. It's very easy to build. It's very noob-friendly. In fact, just a quick story. Uh, I accompanied a friend of mine to, a, to my friend's shop yesterday. And uh, he was looking to get into vaping, and I gave uh, I, I built his uh, his vertex on a single coil, you know, with a with a half dilated air hole and all that. And uh, he was you know he was pretty sold on it. And I like how it's very noob friendly. I mean, I taught him how to build the coils, and uh, you know he he was building one last night. and He said he was able to get it down. So um, poles that sit uh, you know adjacent to one another erect are very, very noob friendly, but I like how this gives, you know, th th this is good for newbies, but it's also good for more advanced or more uh, tenured vapors, if you will, because a lot of vapors now, they love to experiment with coils, dual coils, quad coils, parallel coils, standing uh, micro coils, whatever. All those stuff are uh, pretty nice to get into, but you need a good atomizer that can accommodate the space. And with, with, uh, with a huge ass build area like that, you can pretty much go crazy on this thing. I mean, you can go quad, you can go dual parallel, you can go dual, you can use thicker gauge wire, you can use, yeah, you can use pretty much anything. I tried it with flat wire, with .50 wire, with Magic Mandy wire, yeah, some of that stuff Rip had. Uh, pretty, pretty, really good stuff. I mean, uh, all of them were able to uh, to deliver. And it was, it was a real, real cinch to build. So that's also a plus for me because I can build micro coils and single coils pretty easy, but um, dual coils are a bit of a challenge for me, and they've been a challenge ever since. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it, guys. The Axis mod featuring the, uh, the Vertex by the Boss Mod International. Um, you guys can check them out. I'm going to post a link to the, uh, the Facebook page in a bit. So uh, I hope you guys have fun. Cheers, big party people.